Hey everyone, Russ here with Insane Custom Stencils with another simple top water lure video. I'll be listing my mix ratios right here on the screen for you. I've already base coated this with Wicked White. It's simple one to one ratio on the white and the reducer. So half and half. Spray it lightly, let it cure. Then you're ready to start right here where we're at. Here on the screen, you'll see your ratios and what I'm using. And this one's not much trickier than the last video we put out, the Purple Haze Top Water. This one has a little bit more of a fade job on it, but not much. Starting out with the yellow. We'll cover the bottom and fade it up. You can cover the entire lure if you want to. Just make sure you get good equal coverage on both sides. And if you are going to just do the lower half, then spray from the bottom and let it fade to the top. Just make sure you do get it at least midway. And this will help you set up to accept the orange that we'll be throwing over the top of it. I will be adding some of the yellow on top of the head and definitely on the gills around the eyes a little bit you'll see where this comes into play later it'll help richen the orange that's going on top of it I say this in all my videos so just in case you haven't seen any of my videos I spray in light layers and I use around 18 psi it varies but generally I'm around 18 psi on my air pressure on the orange mix, I am just using 10 drops of orange Wicked and 10 drops of 4020 Reducer. That's what we'll be starting next here. Looks like I got the camera angle off just a little bit here. My apologies. It'll be back to where it needs to be in just a minute. You'll notice I'm covering up most of the yellow that I sprayed on top of the head, but the yellow will actually give the orange uh, more contrast, uh, richer color. Just continue to cover the top half of the lure with the orange, fading down the sides. So now we'll come in with our mix for the back. I'll put it here on the screen for you as well. 10 drops 4020 reducer. 10 drops orange. And 3 drops uh, vascular violet. If you don't have these colors, you can improvise. Now we're going to darken the back. Give it more of a reddish orange color. And here's where you want to be careful and, and spray at a downward angle so you have a good fade job unless you're wanting a different look. So we'll get this covered pretty good and then we'll come in and add one drop of black to this mix so the very back of the lure will be darker. So now I've added one drop of black to the mix. This will darken the back. Now we'll get the PM1 top water stencil. 
we get this on our website, insanecustomstencils.com. Notice I am air drying the lure. It was still a little damp. I'd sprayed a little bit heavier than I normally do on the back. I was only spraying air there. As stated in my other videos, you can cut the stencil off, so maybe it's easier for you to handle. I like to leave them on, they're easier to catalog. Don't be afraid to remove the stencil, check it out, and replace it. It's not that complicated. You're not going to mess anything up. If you do, it's just paint. Start over. Now we'll just go to the other side and repeat the same process. Take our violet mix and darken the back. We'll get it pretty close and then we'll add one drop of black to the violet mix to really dial it in. And once you finish this, your lure is painted. We just glue on the eyes. I'll do uh, I'll dip it twice in KBS clear diamond finish and then I'll apply the split rings and hooks some of these I'll put tails on others I don't pretty simple fishing lure thank you for watching message with any questions be sure to like subscribe and share thank you